Just the sound of the light wind gently brushing the corn stalks on this early September morning in this Peach County field. But it's not peaceful for Bucky Green. He had hoped to hear the roar of the combine instead. We've been almost finished for a week and it just seems like the closer you get to the end, which is typical farming, something always happens. And what happened here is the soaking rains brought by Irma made the middle of this field extremely wet. And here we are down to the last 30 acres and the combine sunk. The final 30 acres of a 1,250 acre harvest for Green and Jarvis Farms sidelined by the setback as clouds on the horizon signal more rain could be on the way. Weather being like it is and these afternoon showers and it doesn't particularly bother the moisture in the corn because we're drying it anyway but being able to stand up in the field to harvest it, uh, that's been a challenge. But time and experience have taught these farmers a thing or two about added horsepower, and the double force of these two huge tractors provides just what they need to get the combine out of the bog. It makes farming it's something new every day. I mean, you come to work thinking you're gonna do one thing, something like this happens and it changes everything. And so everything changes again the combine back in business. If you don't have a farming background, you may be shocked to learn how vitally important harvesting this crop is for you and your family. Dried corn may not sound too appetizing, but did you know the corn that's harvested here in middle Georgia plays a critical part in America's food supply? The majority of the corn in Georgia probably just go into our huge poultry industry. You know, we have the largest poultry industry in the, in the country, um, and it's the biggest ag industry in Georgia. Yes, this corn is all about feeding the chickens we depend upon for food, and it's a hot and valued commodity. Georgia's a corn deficit state. There's never enough corn grown in the state of Georgia to supply the feed meals. After it's all harvested, growers store the corn where it's dried to feed mill standards before they sell and ship it. We bring a lot of corn in from the Midwest to feed the, feed the birds uh, that we have in Georgia. So all, all of this is a, is a benefit to either Tyson or Purdue, wherever a grower decides to sell it. Indications point to a good year for farmers selling feed corn. We have pr probably the perfect weather for, for every, you know, every type of corn we grow in Georgia, whether dry land or irrigated. But good year or bad, Bucky Green and his family say they're in it for the long haul. I farm every day with my son and uh, my son-in-law. My daughters are interested in it. <clears throat> Sorry. And they just, uh, you know, my, my, my dad did it, my grandfather. You work in some of the same land that they did the same thing at home. It's the same spirit that keeps green going no matter the weather or the yields. On the farm, I'm Greg Lloyd.